Hi guys, it's Chris here again. And in this video we'll be learning four different parts to Katy Perry's new song, Raw. You can download one, or rather four of these sheets in the link below and that will help you learn the song. The first part is the piano stabs. So it's like dun, 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 dun. Okay, then there's the riff, which is perhaps the easiest part of the song. The chords, and finally, which we'll get into at the end of the video, is the melody here. I've transcribed the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And that took long enough. So, let's get on with it. So, the piano stabs go like this. And that is double six on the E and small E in the B string. You can either bar it, which means flattening a finger across more than one string, or you can use two fingers, index and second. But I'm gonna bar it with my first. Here we go, and you can do 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then to this kind of sus chord, if you know what that means. So you still wanna do six with your index, and then with your third, finger you want to do eight and you'll do four of these and again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve six and eight one two three four let's look at the riff all of these frets are on the big e string at the top the first one is six one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four up to eight one two three four down to three Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Slide up to eleven. And again. One, two, three, four. You'll notice in the um demonstration I did at the beginning of this video, I played the piano stabs and the riff together. Okay, that's very difficult. Um, if you're more sort of able on the guitar, maybe you can wear that out. But what I suggest, if you're playing this with friends, um, two of you can start with the piano stabs and the riff and play that for the verse. And when you get to uh, the verse and pre-chorus, and when you get to the chorus, you can perhaps change from the riff um, to the chords. And all these parts can be played together. So it's not going to sound wrong at all. Right, so we've done the piano stabs and the riff. Now onto the chords, which you'll need capo for. And you want to place it on the third fret. Make sure it's clamped down. Let's quickly go over the chords. The first one's G. You want your index finger, second fret, A string, second one down. Third finger, third fret on the top string. And third finger on the third fret, small E string. And you can do, let's just keep it simple, and you want to do 12 Gs or 12 downs. To A minor, and you do four of these. A minor is index on the B, second string up, third there, um, the second finger there, and you want to miss top E string, the big E string, and play from the A, do four of these. 12 lots of E minor, keep your second finger where it is on the second fret D string and then you place you want to place your index finger on the second fret A string. And you do 12 of these. To the C chord. One finger there, there and there. Miss out the big E string again and do four of these. Okay, so let's try the chords again, once more. One, two, three, four. Now let me think you can do... You could do... Down, 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 down. Down, 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 up lasts for two beats, which would mean for G you would do three lots of down, 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 up. 
one lot of down, 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 up for A minor. Three lots of down, down, up, down, up for E minor. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. Okay, right, um, how are we doing? Seven minutes, right. So, if you're a bit more able on the guitar, perhaps you wanna try this melody. It sounds really, really cool if you play it um, with the chords, you know, if you and a friend wanna try it out. So let's start the three pages. Um, on the first pa page is the verse, second page is the pre-chorus, and the start of the chorus. And the third page is the course continued. I'm not going to go through each note at a time, and just, you know, exactly where to press down because it's just going to take forever. So I'll quickly just go, well, I won't quickly play the song. I'll go through each bar uh, one at a time, nice and slowly, and you want to remove your capo. What's that doing there? So uh, let's start off beginning of the verse is the first bar. One, two, three, four. And just to mention, you can download, download these sheets in a uh, link below. And again. Okay, and the second bar is almost the same. Third bar or second line, I'll do I'll do the whole thing, the whole of the second line. So those two bars are the same. And the third line goes like this. No, I'll do that again. Okay, it's the same as the first two bars, but here we go. I didn't mean to do a pause in, in the middle there. So the fourth line is this. Okay, and the fifth and final line, um, but playing uh, fret three in the B string from the, uh, which is the last note of the fourth line, if that makes sense. Here we go. And again. And the second page with uh, fret three from the, the final bar of page one. Here we go. Okay, second line of uh, the melody page two and the third line which is the final part of the pre-chorus okay tip so far um, this may take a few weeks to learn I mean if you're really good like me ha 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 you know you'll probably work it out in an hour or so but take your time, just work, listen to the song, work through sort of each, each section one at a time, and then, then you should get the hang of it. Okay, right, on to the chorus. Here we go. So this is the first, what's the th fourth line down on the second page, and the first line of the chorus. And it starts on the sixth fret of the B string. I'll do that again. And the next line. Okay, moving on to page three. This is the top line of that. With six from the previous bar of the second page. All these pages, it's getting confusing. And again. And then, ah, we've got a slide. So you go from one on the small E string 
six. That's for the raw bit. Now, you'll see on the sheet there's the six in brackets. That means you don't play it. So you pick one and slide it with six. Okay, the second line. Okay, I went, I went a bit quicker there, but you've, you've already learned that one. Um, okay, right. So the third line of the third page. Slide thing again in to say the raw, which is the which is the raw part into the o o o bits. I'll do it again. This is quite tricky. This part, it's quite fast. So it's six on the E string, eight six on the B. Right, uh, fourth line. Ah, we've got hammer on. So if you don't know what hammer on is, it's when you pick one note and kind of flick onto another one. And you've got to do it quite, quite hard in order in order to get a sound. So six to eight. Ah, then we've got something else, which is a pull off. So here the pull off is between eight and six. So you'll play eight and flick and flick off. That's the trick with pull-offs. It's not about pulling off, it's flicking. They should call it flick off. It's kind of stupid, really. And then, okay, where are, whereabouts are we? Then the same thing again, six to eight. Right, fifth and final line. 